Hello everyone, my name is Anushka Adhikari. I belong to class 10C. I am here to give a brief introduction of the topic Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem was invented by Pythagoras. Pythagoras was a Greek philosopher and a mathematician. His ideas influenced thinkers throughout the ages. Pythagoras is well known to the math students for the Pythagoras theorem. Let us know more about this theorem. So let's get started. Hope you will like the video. The Pythagoras theorem is by far the most important concept not only in triangles but also in the entire field of mathematics. To understand it, all we need to do is draw a right triangle. It is a triangle in which one angle is a right angle. What's so special about this triangle or this theorem? The first thing we need to understand is what the side opposite to the right angle is called its hypotenuse. The Pythagoras theorem says that the hypotenuse has a special relation with the other two sides. It tells us that the square of these length that is the hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides. Remember, it holds true only in the case of right triangle. So the theorem said that for any right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the square of the other two sides. Let's say that the length of the sides are A, B and C. C is the length of the hypotenuse. For this triangle, we can say that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. If this is a right angle triangle, the square of this length will always equal the sum of the squares of each of these lengths. This theorem has innumerable uses. Zara wanted to build a ramp leading from the ground to the back porch. The porch is 3 feet of the ground and due to the building regulation, the ramp must start 7 feet away from the base of the porch. How long will the ramp be? Using the Pythagoras theorem, you can say that the square of the length of this ramp will equal 3 square plus 7 square. This square root of this sum will give us the length of the ramp. We saw that if we have a right angle triangle like this with sides A, B and C, then the Pythagoras theorem says that C square is equal to A square plus B square. Now let's move on to understand why. The process to understand Pythagoras theorem is pretty similar to the one a plus b whole square we draw a line of any length and mark a point on it this point can be marked anywhere on the line we name the parts a and b this length will be a plus b next we complete the square with a plus b as its sides. this is a square in which each length is a plus b now we try to make the same division on each segment, we mark the points here, here and here. The points should be marked such that the length is B. This length is A, this is B and this is A. And these two lengths are also equal to B and A. We can see that we have four points, one on each side. This time we join the adjacent points. If we will draw this line on a piece of a paper, we will notice that the figure formed inside is a square. Let the length of the sides be C cm. We can see different parts are formed. The outer square is made up of 5 parts. The square of the sides C cm in between and Four right angle triangles with height A and base B. Now let's try to find the area of the outer square. The area of square can be calculated in two ways. The first way is site multiplied by site. It can be written as A plus B multiplied A plus B which equals A plus B whole square and the area of the outer 
square also equals the sum of the areas of these five parts. The area of the square is c squared. Observe that each of these triangles will have the same area as their height and their base is the same. Area of each triangle is half AB. To include the area of the four triangles, we just multiply this with four. Their total area would be four multiplied by half AB. Two times two is four, and we get the area of the outer square as C square plus two AB. Both these are the area of the outer square. Equating these two, we can write C squared plus 2AB equals to A plus B whole square. And using the identity for A plus B the whole square, we write this as C squared plus 2AB equals A squared plus 2AB plus B squared and cancelling out 2AB from both the sides. We get C squared equal to a square plus b square this is the pythagoras theorem here is our model of pythagoras theorem here we are going to explain the theorem in detail this is the model and this is the base which is simply made up of packing board Let us take the distance from the protector to the height B 28 cm respectively. So a protector has been taken so as to get a measure of the angle at what angle the hypotenuse is. Now how we can change the height this is a metal rod where the plastic part is added with it we can increase or decrease the height by rotating the metal rod by doing this two things are happening one the angles are changing and other the height is also getting changed if we leave it it will automatically come down now by doing some calculations we will be testing the working of this model first we will be measuring the height and the height is initially 5 cm the base we know that 28 cm we have perpendicular distance 5 cm and base 28 cm now by pythagoras theorem we get the height equal to 28.4 cm now if we measure it it is exactly 28.4 and it is verified this is how the model works Now I would like to conclude that being able to find the length of one side given the length of two sides makes the Pythagoras theorem a very useful technique for construction and navigation. It is also used in construction works to make sure that the buildings are perfect square. It is also used to calculate the steepness of the slopes of hills and mountains. Now I would like to thank our honorable principal ma'am for providing us a platform to present our project and I would also like to thank Modak sir for his guidance. Thank you.